Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about a coordinator which is powered with AI. Personally, I'm using this coordinator for past few months and I'm going to share my experience with you guys about this coordinator. And the name of this coordinator is Cursor. And let's talk about this more in detail in this video. This is the website of Cursor. So it mentioned the AI first coordinator built faster in an editor design for paired programming with AI. Cursor is available for Mac, uh, Windows, Linux, so you can download according to your OS. So if you talk about the features, uh, it, it has like you can talk with your code base, you can reference files and docs, you can generate code from scratch. Uh, also, you can use, uh, you know, Copilot Plus Plus, which is the native uh, feature. And uh, yeah, and also the cursor is like a, the cursor is like a fork of VS Code, so you can use all your VS Code extension and you can migrate them here with just one click. And when we are talking about the pricing, they have a plan like free, pro and business. So in free, you can see here like 50 slow GPT-4 uses, 200 GPT-3.5 uses in uh, pro like 500 fast GPT-4 and unlimited slow GPT-4 uses. But I will talk about uh, another way where we can use a free version uh, with unlimited uh, GPT-4 and GPT-3.5 uses using open uh, AI API keys. So let's talk about AI feature. As you can see here, there's a code. And if I select this line, uh, you can see there's a chat and edit button over here. So if I click on this edit button, you can see a nice prompt over here. So I can ask anything to edit my file. Let's say I want one button. So add one button over here. So it's going to give me one code for button. So as you can see here, there's a code for button. I can accept if I want this button. And uh, the same thing I can achieve by using chat. Let me undo this. Okay, so if I again select this line, and if I click on chat, there is a, ch a chat panel over here, right? So you can see the selected line, and I can ask the same thing, like add button over here. So it's going to give me one code. You can see the code for that. I can copy this, I can paste over here, okay? Now let's talk about uh, more about this chat functionality. So you can also select uh, GPT-4, GPT-3.5 cursor first model over here. And there's a mention button over here, right? So when you click on this mention, uh, you can see all the tag over here. So file, folder, code, web, docs, linter, and git, code base. Let's say I want to talk with my code. So I will choose code base. And uh, let's say I want to ask something like, uh, give me a docker file okay so it's going to read my folder structure and it's going to give me that file so you can see the code for that file so if i click over here uh, docker file so you can see the same code right so let's see another uh, tag like uh, for example web so if i click on this web and if i ask something like uh, I want one hook okay for uh, outside click okay so it's going to search over the internet and it's going to give me the code for that and also the link so yeah you can see over here there's a web page and the link over here okay and also the code for the hook so I can click any of this link let's say I want uh, to see this link if I click on this uh, it, will, it will be redirect me or this page where I can see that code, right? Pretty powerful, right? So let's uh, see other, uh, you know, tags. So let me choose the doc, okay? So if I click on this doc, you can see all the official doc over here. Let's say I want to chat with this EC2 instance doc, okay? And, uh, if I ask something like, uh, uh, I want to how to set up okay how to set up uh, EC2 instant okay so it's going to give me the steps to set up EC2 instance you can see over here right and also there's a link for every uh, documentation so if I click any one of these it will redirect me to the uh, you know doc for that EC2 instance you can see over here launch and instance okay 
so it's very you know uh, useful feature so also you can add new doc over here for example uh, if i click on doc if i click on add new doc okay you can paste the link of new docs over here okay and also you can talk with files folders okay code so if i click on files you can talk with files okay if i let's say if i uh, use folders you can talk with any of this folder then the same for you know code so there is one more thing over here is like you can also talk with the terminal okay so if i press command uh, k uh, for mac and control k for window so there's a prompt over here so you can you know let me first uh, stop the server okay then if i ask like uh, start the server so it's going to start the server you can see if i run, click on run it's going to start the server yeah uh, let's see another example let's say um, uh, I want to let's say I want to commit this code so I'm going to say add uh, commit the code okay so as you can see it's already added and committed this code okay this is all about cursor so let's see you on another video